somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't ya? Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. Radioactive Trash Collector! Oh boy! How to play Radioactive Trash Collector. Use the crosshair to aim the Enviro Cannon. Press the left mouse button or control key on the keyboard to launch the Recycle Sphere. The Recycle Sphere cannot be launched again until it has returned to the Enviro Cannon. Suck up all the trash to complete the level. Robot sweepers will get in the Recycle Sphere's way and cannot be sucked up. Collect four bonus items to get to the bonus level. Capture Red Cross crates to regain energy. Capture Smart Bomb container crates to increase Smart Bomb capacity. Bomb containers will allow one Smart Bomb to recharge at the start of each level. Use Smart Bombs to recycle all trash on screen. Press the right mouse button or the shift key on the keyboard to use Smart Bombs. The game ends when you run out of energy. Good luck! <laughs>
I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Bohr, Spy Corps King of Covert Capers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. I need to fold together this rocket-powered origami skateboard soon. Spy Corps is... This would look great on my knick-knack shelf, but it's not going to help me escape. I need to fold to... I need to fold... I learned this one in Spycrafts 101, but it's not what I need right now. I need to fold together... Neat! If I do say so myself, but it is definitely not a rocket-powered skateboard. Hmm, correct flaps. Wrong order. That did it. Now I'm rocket-powered and ready for action. Chief, a giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up Mobile Command Center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the mobile command center.
C5. I need to use this song code to get into mobile command and contact Monkey Penny and Quack. What a cool jukebox! Now that's music! Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. Please stand by. I'm right here in the room with you, Spy Fox. I know. Isn't it amazing how technology can allow you to be in two places at once? Right. Monkey Penny out. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. How uncivilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here and it's not my deodorant. How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How do you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, Sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. This machine makes name patches. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy! The patch maker can only make names of five letters or less. That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want.
Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! No matter. It is too late now. Champ, Ace, back to the factory. It's time to really heat the place up. Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chicle. Chicle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One prickly pear pizza. A handful of bold perium beauty clay that poodles mines at the bottom of the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my key card to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back. The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than freshen breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark Spy Mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The Grappling Granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Hop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. The 
Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. What did you do to the patch machine? I guess I looked at it the wrong way. I'm glad I don't need another name patch. I get two chances to knock the pins down. I got a four, six, seven, ten split, also known as the Big Four. So close, I almost got all of the pins down. Quack must have fixed the Trans Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's cosmetics factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's Pia a Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. Pia, I'm in desperate need of one of your prickly pear pizzas. I'm afraid the shop was burglarized last night and you'll never guess what they took. Well, the way things are going, I guess all your prickly pears. That's right. And the only clue they left behind was a torn piece of pink cloth. But if you brought me a prickly pear, I'd be happy to make you a pizza with it. I can use this talk balloon to gather information on where to find a prickly pear. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. Whoa! That was close. I'm going to need a much more clever way to cross that quicksand. <laughs> All right, Granny, do your stuff. <laughs> My guess is whoever was wearing these doesn't need them anymore. They're not my size, but I'll hang on to them anyway.
I cracked the code. Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Then I can get in there and get that chickle. That looks like the ancient ruin of Chickle Pichu. It is, and it's full of chickle right now. Full of chickle. Hello, my name's Fox, Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying chickle for my PhD in gummatology. But some pink clad pranksters locked all of the chickle inside Chickle Pichu. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Ah, the lake. There's a big mining platform in the middle of it. That must be Poodle's beauty clay operation. This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Pinkuchi Puchi Shadow. Hmm, that sounds like some kind of code phrase. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah! It must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. Plan B. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's Bee. Bee Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, Bee. I will. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, Bee.
I'm no expert on H2O, but the river is definitely not flowing over the falls now. Hold on there, you! Only beekeepers tend to their bees can go into the Prickly Pear Ranch. How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the Prickly Pear Ranch. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. Here's a good one. Ouch! It's too bad they don't make non-prickly prickly pears. With the prickly pear! Prickly pear? What prickly pear? The x-ray machine shows that you have a prickly pear. Now all prickly pears stay in the prickly pear ranch. Those are the rules. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. This one should be good on pizza. Yow! I wonder if they de-prickle these before they go on the pizza. I'd hate to chance drowning a perfectly good prickly pear by missing that board. So long! Maybe we'll pair up again sometime. I can now get the prickly pear pizza pushpin needs for the congeal pill. I wish my tux had a prickly pear pocket protector. This thing smarts. Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. White Pants Face Powder. Minty Green Loot Pink Coochie Poochie Shadow. Pressing that button accessed a counter code phrase. Delight in Big Delight in Big Heist. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chico Beach. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Ah, 
Back to the jungle where the orchids grow. The amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. That was a little dicey. Sneaky spy maneuver number 37 is no match for those blades. I'm going to have to bust my way through. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's instant oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster, and I am a spy, so here goes. At last, I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy... Uh-oh! That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, poodles galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special gland of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. <laughs> All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen! Poodle's brand SPF 2001! Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but... The undisputed ruler of the world! <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shine. Here you are, Pia, a juicy prickly pear fresh from the desert. Can you bake me one of your special prickly pear pizzas now? Of course, I'll have that ready before you can say, Hooray for Hollywood! There you are, Mr. Fox. Freshly baked prickly pear pizza with extra simulated cheese. Mmm, yummy for your tummy. 
Thank you, Pia. It's just what the scientist ordered. You mean doctor? No, I actually do mean scientist. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. All of which were far superior to the major brands. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either baste themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fly. The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. A sticky stun bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. Here's a pair of bowling shoes. If you have any flippers handy, I'll trade you for them. Yeah, okay. There isn't any water within a thousand miles of here. What do you use those for? I like to put them on and pretend I'm a duck. Uh-huh. Takes all kinds, I suppose. Hello there. My name's Spy Fox. How's it going? I'm Wet Eddie. I'm into scuba diving. How about you? Danger, intrigue, and espionage is my game. Hmm. That's a nice scuba suit, Wet Eddie. You never know when a scuba suit might come in handy. Could I borrow it from you? Well, if you show me you have flippers, I'd be happy to lend it to you. But you have to have flippers. Otherwise, it's just not safe. I understand. When around water, always play it safe.
I found a pair of flippers. Can I use your scuba suit now, Wet Eddie? Sure, Spy Fox. You know, I was just concerned about safety and all. Of course. When it comes to water, safety first. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait, uh, I got it. You got it? So, this is Poodle's beauty clay mining rig. It's a beauty, all right. Now I'm ready for some underwater espionage. This scuba suit's a bit binding. I don't want to wander around in it. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. I better not let him see me. That looks like a chart showing the various colors and textures of Poodle's beauty clay. Normally, I just corrupt. Sneaky spy maneuver number 37 works every time. It looks like those dials control a lock mechanism of some kind. It's the ingredient list for pushpins con. The gate is open. This must be where Poodles gets her beauty clay. But it's too dark to see anything. I'm going to have to figure out a way to light up this joint. It's not dark. There's nothing for the spy men to light up. The phosphorescent compound of Quack's spy mint worked perfectly. The mint is lighting up the entire room, and it was very refreshing. It's Poodle's Beauty Clay. That's one of the vital ingredients Pushpin needs to make the congeal pill. In the green glow of the spy mint, all the clay looks the same. Maybe this will be the right kind. The heat of the... Play-Doh Pushpin's keycard worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Then he just dropped the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. 
Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of itchy lip lotion as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> a combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Psst, Spy Fox, over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a blue bouffant, accented with an old-style rake accessory. Sounds more like the hair of yesterday to me. Thanks for the information, Roger. Here, I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair. Would you mind repeating? Sure, Spy Fox. The hair of the day is a blue bouffant, accented... Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig-making machine. Those buttons change the wig color, four fashion colors to choose from. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged-out machine can make. That's a mullet-style wig. That's a bouffant-style wig. I bet this wig will look nice on me. Not bad, but I think I'll keep it in my pocket until I really need it. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. The sticky stun bun worked. Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. It's the safe containing the key. Itchy lip lotion. Itchy lip lotion. 
That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. We have liftoff. The key worked. I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage. Look at the size of that aerosol abomination. I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn. APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. Here is the special clay you asked for, Pushpin. It is perfect, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. A prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. A prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the chickle pushpin. Ah, the chickle. Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. Now all I need is a prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Well, I risked bee stings and scalding hot cheeks, but I've got the prickly pear pizza. Push pen! That was a vital ingredient for the congeal pill. Yes! Without the pizza's nourishing qualities, I would have collapsed with hunger. That is the final ingredient! Now I can finish the congeal pill! are Mr. Spy Fox. You must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. 
It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. That's my new s Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? No, I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox, Spy Fox, and in the name of Spy Corps, I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy. I must warn you that I'm an expert in cockadoodle foo. Drat. <laughs> That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? <laughs> Uh, how do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Not so fast, Poodles Galore!
me now. Not with this impenetrable force field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. I need to enter the code correctly to open that door. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's moon base control center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. There's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing spy style. Ow! Oh! The humanity! Oh! <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. I'll try sneaky spy maneuver number 37. It never lets me down. Ow! Oh! Stop this crazy thing! Ah! Uh, uh, so much for sneaky spy maneuver number 37! I'm going to have to disable that powder puff somehow. Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That switch must be the off switch for Poodle's pink powder puff pummel device. Now to shut off the... 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 Puff! Oh! Ow! Oh, oh! Where's my stunt double? That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Cultivated yet boorish. Perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a dyotic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. Ah! Heh, it 
was just a little powder, the Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. This looks like an automated fingernail painting machine. How handy. I, this allows me to it with the... That painted my fingernails and they look pretty. Orange stars. Now that's trend setting. It worked. Now to muzzle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Stick em. Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Oh, that chump that turned the force field off. I'm that chump, poodles. You again! This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle-poo. Not so fast, Poodles. My nail! My nail! Oh, oh pretty big thing they weigh! I am hideous! Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the Spy Play Possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the Limp Biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the Dead Fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox! For your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodle's galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. His life where danger dwells He spends his days in peril He gets the clues that solve the crime He is his fellow man He has a gadget to make him cool He can escape any trap He's got the gumption that he needs To save us soul from the pool
quit.